during the episode, try to spot my pal Snail. Well, there may be lots of critters living under the ground, but there's one wriggly one or two amazing to stand. Deep below our feet, under gardens and streets, you'll find these little creatures, the song does feature. Talking about earthworms, earthworms. Come on now. While they may seem small, their job is so big. Making healthy soil for all of us to dig. No arms, legs, no eyes, no bones to display. An animal with no backbone is what we call an invertebrate. As you may have noticed, earthworms have no legs, arms, or eyes. Instead, receptors help them tell dark from light and keep them wise. Receptors let them know whether they're above or underground. And if they're above, well, they better get back down. So earthworms need lots of muscles to help them get around. There's tons of dirt to move through deep down underground. So how do they breathe in all that dirty dirt? Well, it's not through lungs, in which they have none. It's through their skin, with the help of mucus, in which they have a tongue. Talk about they may now. seem small, their job is great big, making healthy soil for all of us to dig. So while we have just one heart, well, worms have five. Five hearts beating just to keep one worm alive. They sure do need those hearts for all they have to do. Aerate the soil, now keep, keep it moist, moist, that's true. If you wonder how they do it, just by wriggling around, making tunnels through the dirt for air and water to pass about. So we need munching organic matter Which to earthworms is a treat But their favorite food is candy Cookies and cake And in their spare time They even like to bake Earthworms like to bake And not sure, Well, alright Alright, well yeah, you're right They don't eat those But let me tell you where All the food they eat goes When they're nice and full You know what comes out And worm poop is the best fertilizer Vermicast, worm poop, or worm manure. It helps the soil structure, anchors plants, and much more. So while earthworms may seem small, their jobs are great big, helping make healthy soil for all of us to dig. Earthworms are pretty neat, and I hope that we can agree. Charles Darwin studied them for 40 years, so don't just take it from me. 40 years. It's neat that earthworms hatch from a cocoon at their start, and if they lose some of their body, they could regrow that part. But mostly, they're amazing for the job that they do of keeping Mother Earth's soil happy through and through. While they may seem small, their job is great big, making healthy soil for all of us to dig. So while we have just one heart, well, worms have five. Five hearts beating just to keep one worm alive. Heart for all they have to do Aerate the soil, now keep it moist, that's true really If true. you wonder how they do it just by wriggling around Making tunnels through the dirt for air and water To pass around Well people, it's Jay here And if there's one thing I'd like to tell you today it's that even though small things might seem like they can't do a lot, well, boy, is that wrong. Take it from our friends, the earthworms. Tiny little creatures can do big, great things. And that includes you. So remember to keep those minds thinking way far out there. Thanks for spending time with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, pals. Yes, yeah, subscribe. <laughs>